but how did we get here? We noticed that the students were under a lot of stress, mm. an unhealthy amount of stress. We determined that the, this, a lot of the source of the stress had to do with the unhealthy relationship between the teachers and the students at conventional schools. Mm. And specifically, it was this power differential that created this unhealthy relationship. And so we thought, well, let's create a school where the adults and the children who are at the school can relate to each other in a healthy way. Mm. To do that, we had to take away the power differential. And once you take away the power differential, then you can't really have a curriculum because you can't force kids to do things um, that they wouldn't normally do on their own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, you know, it's impossible to have a curriculum without coercion. The governance structures that you did use to equalize that power structure, to equalize the power, could that be construed as a sort of a different kind of curriculum, given that it is something, you know, that they, they are... They, they do have to participate in the governance process. And so it is required. It is something that you, you know, they can be kicked out. There are things they cannot do, and that's defined through the governance. Would it be fair to say that that's may, maybe, say, a social curriculum rather than an academic one? Yes, absolutely. The, the way I was using curriculum did, did mean a set of academic subjects which every student has to um, follow. Exactly, exactly. So that, that was the definition that I was using. Certainly, yeah. certainly we do have, and it's really, there's only a few really mandatory things mm -hmm. at our school. One is that you have to take part in the school government. You have, you have to help run the school. The other is I have an, or, an orientation seminar. We were just discussed this last week because I was thinking maybe it's time to drop it, but the, the students still want it. They still want the orientation seminar. So that's another mandatory thing. And then you, you have to clean up after yourself. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.